I'm going to be showing you how to do all the puzzles and trials on Octu's Temple Island within LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Galaxy Freeplay. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're starting off here with the first puzzle called Welcome to Octu. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that, but uh, just behind your landing zone you can go on these little pegs in the water and get to the rock to get the kyber break for Welcome to Octu. So next we're going to do Stashed in the storeroom here, sort of in the middle left side of the map and so we're gonna find this cage over here and switch to a Jedi or Sith character to mind trick uh, the inside villager to pull the switch and then from there we can un mind trick and then switch to a bounty hunter character to destroy the gold lego object and get the kyber brick for stashed in the storeroom alright so third we're gonna go for uh, Della Relict Delight I guess is how you say that. I've never heard of that word, but uh, apparently it means like damaged or something like that. I looked it up, but uh, anyway, all you have to do is jump inside this damaged house here and get the kyber brick for derelict delight. All right, so moving along, we're gonna do a lost Jedi loot here in the middle left side of the island. So there's gonna be this cage here, and all you have to do is pull the nearby switches within a 10 second or 9 second time frame. You can easily do it like I just did there using a force character. And then once we get inside, we can switch to a villain character and throw a grenade on the silver Lego object to get the cover brick for Lost Jedi loot. So next up is high speed hiking like directly in the middle of the map pretty much. Um, so there's going to be four switches here that we need to step on within a 30 second time frame. I'm going to be showing you the locations of all four. And it can be a little bit tricky if you don't know immediately where all four of them are. But once you, once you do, you know, you can do it within you know, probably 10 seconds or so, but uh, that'll open up the cage and get the cover brick for high speed hiking. So next up, we're going to do Cognitive Cavern here. Uh, again, sort of in the middle of the map. We're going to head inside this cool looking cavern. And so this one's got a few steps to it. So we're going to use the force to pull away some of these blocks. We're also going to go over here to the right side to cut a hole through that wall. And then we're going to go up here and cut a hole through this wall as well. And essentially what we're doing is we're revealing the location of three different gears. So you can see here behind this wall was a gear. So we're going to use the force on that, the Jedi or Sith, uh, to put it along the wall here. And uh, there's going to be another gear up on that column. And the last one's going to be, I was looking for it here because I couldn't figure out where it was. It's going to be uh, where we cut a hole through the wall. The first wall we cut a hole through if you use the force to move that column out of the way. That's going to be the third gear, and then we can hit the switch with a lightsaber or blaster to unlock the door and get the kyber brick for Cognitive Cavern. So a lot of steps to that one. So next we're going to do Trail Gazers here on the right side of the map. And so it's going to be on top of this uh, little mountain here. It's going to be a trial, so we're going to switch to a scavenger character and use their uh, net launcher ability to climb up this wall. And from there, we should be able to use the nearby pegs to reach the top of the wall to actually initiate this trial. Now, this trial is going to be one of these gliding trials, so switch to a scavenger character and use their gliding ability to glide across, go through like four or five different targets, and get the gold rank and get the cover brick for trail gazers. So next up, we're going to do Octu Tourney here on the right side. And so all you have to do here is switch to a force using character, use the force on the nearby, I guess it's like a tumbleweed, uh, throw it into the soccer net, and get the kyber brick for Octu Attorney. So very simple there. Next we're going to do Rocky Nook. This is going to be in the middle of the map a little bit south. And so on top of this mountain all we have to do is clamp to the top and jump off this cliff to reach this edge for Rocky Nook. So very, very simple there. So next we're going to do top tip on the right bottom of the map here of the island. Um, so all you have to do is you'll see the cover brick off in the distance and you pretty much just have to walk over to it. So uh, very easy. Don't need any special characters or anything like that. And that is top tip. So moving right along we're going to do the sacred Jedi brick. And it's going to be on the south side of the map. And you'll notice here, this is where the Sacred Jedi texts were, but if you go to the back side of the trunk, you can then climb up with the orange pegs and reach the top for the Kyber Brick for Sacred Jedi Brick. Now next we're going to do a fishing expedition here on the south, uh, more toward the left side of the map here. And so you're going to notice this island with the Kyber Brick on it, so we're going to use the force on some nearby brown uh, blocks, and we're going to place those strategically in the water where we can jump across, don't fall into the water like I just did there, and then get the cover brick 
for fishing expedition. So next we're going to do Lanai Lua. I have no idea how to say that, but uh, anyway, so we're going to go over here to this little village and we're going to have to talk to the nearby villagers with a protocol droid character. And from there we're going to switch to a Jedi or Sith and we're going to have to mind control the nearby villagers, move them into the purple uh, outline there. And once they get into the purple outline, you're then going to use the distract force ability to cause them to dance. Once you do that to about three or four different villagers, you'll get this little cutscene. And then you can get the cover brick for Lanai Lua, however you say that. Uh, moving right along, we're going to do Mountain Slide here. Uh, moving towards the left side of the map, we're going to do those ones in the middle uh, last for the most part. So we're going to climb up to the top of the mountain here. And there's going to be this slide coming up. So we're going to get into this little... Uh, vehicle slide I guess you could call it and then we can just fall right down this is kind of a cool little animation here we can just slide right down into Kyber Brick for mountain slide alright so next we're gonna do fisherman's friend so we're not done with the fishing puzzles just yet um, so here we're gonna go inside this cave and there's gonna be a Kyber Brick up top but there's gonna be some nearby uh, brown Lego blocks which we can move around with the force so we're basically gonna stack those underneath the Kyber Brick so that we can reach it. Um, so I was looking for the last block. I couldn't find it, but it's over here on the right side of the entrance. So we're just going to move that inside, put that on top. You're going to need three blocks in total to reach the Kyber Brick for Fisherman's Friend. All right, so next up we're going to do Return to the Dark Side Cave. This is probably one of the coolest puzzles in the entire game, if I had to say so. So we're going to fall into this pit here, which you saw in the movie. And so in the reflection, there's going to be this mirror and you're essentially controlling the ray that's on the other side of the mirror and uh, and you have to get them to hit the red switches each time and so you can just do these one at a time it's not too, too uh, tricky so like right here I did the one in the back first then I'm doing the one on the right side and then I'm gonna do the ones on here on the left and so you pretty much have to do this a few different times till eventually you reach this room you can have your character in the mirror reach the cover brick for return to the dark side cave so very cool puzzle there so next we're gonna do ravine rush here on the north side of the island and so you're going to notice this giant ravine and all you have to do is pull six switches along the side so there is one of six and you have like 75 80 seconds to pull all six of these so it should be pretty easy there's three of six so there's three on each side of the ravine there's five of six and then six of six and it's going to show the kyber brick in there but i didn't even go over there to collect it you can see here it just gave it to me so uh very interesting there Oh, it doesn't actually force you to collect. At least it didn't for me. Uh, but anyway, next up we're going to do Cracking Oct 2 in the middle left side of the map here. And this is one of those weak walls, so switch to a scavenger character, switch to their breaker blaster ability, and destroy the weak wall. And uh, inside you should be able to get the Kyber Brick for Cracking Oct 2. So pretty easy there. Moving right along, we're going to do a top Oct 2. So we're almost done here, guys. The final three here in the middle of the map. And so we're going to have to climb this giant uh, mountain, which you saw there. So I'm going to speed this up so we don't have to wait the whole time. We're going to switch to scavenger character, use their net launcher ability to climb up this wall. And from there, I don't think we need any special abilities. I think we can just climb up with the orange pegs. Oh, no, never mind. We did have to use the grapple right there. So make sure you use a grapple character. Uh, my bad. I forgot about that one. So from here, I think now we can just jump up with the normal character and do a few double jumps to reach the top of the mountain for... A top act two. Look at that view right there. How great. So from up here, we can actually easily get to the next Kyber Brick, which is going to be called Cliffside Hider. Um, so all you have to do is jump off the cliff. There's other ways to get up here, but uh, you know if you're already up here, this is the easiest way to do it. We're going to strategically jump off the cliff and ran right, uh, fall right into there to give the Kyber Brick for Cliffside Hider. Otherwise, you can just grapple up into that uh, little hider area. So last but not least, we're going to do light and dark. And so uh, so this one, we're going to have to find a couple different torches around the map. So the first torch is going to be right here, uh, just outside of the area. We're going to put that into place. You can see here on your map, there's going to be two purple icons. And that's going to be the location of the other two torches. So it's going to be right here in this little village area. So we're going to grab this. We're going to take it all the way back up into this cave and put it into one of the two spots that it gives you and then the last one's going to be over here more towards the north side of the map kind of near your ship almost and it's going to be another one of these uh, little villages here and we're just going to pick this up and then we're going to carry it all the way back to the cave and once you do that once all four torches are in place 
that should unlock and solve the puzzle for light and dark. So there we go, guys. That's going to be all the puzzles and all the trials for Octu's Temple Island. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.